beautiful video for you guys and I'm really excited to do a video like this for you guys since back to school is coming not the funnest time of the year so I'm here to do that for you guys and for this video I'm doing a 6th grade advice since I have some young viewers or viewers that are going to be going into 6th grade and you're probably really nervous and really scared and you really do not know what to do and you're really confused about how middle school works so I'm here to help you guys out so you're not nervous. It's going to be called BTS with Jen and I'm really excited to do videos like this for you guys. I'm just going to give you some advice since I probably want some advice to really nervous or really scared and you just kind of need help so I'm here to help you guys out and yeah let's just get started. A lot that 6th graders do is don't wear so much makeup like they wear a lot of makeup Icky or it looks like you have raccoon eyes just keep it simple you really do not need makeup you need that and personally I was in sixth grade I wore no makeup I just kept it natural and clean looking so just make sure you don't go all out to like you're going to prom or something so yeah don't make sure that. you guys go to orientation or your registration because you really need to go with your parents because you'll be getting your schedules and you want to find your classrooms that day too so you look around the school and see how it looks like in sixth grade I was so confused and lost like I walked into the 8th grade hall kids 10 times taller than me looking at me like I'm crazy walking through the 8th grade hall and it was just not great so it was really embarrassing but you guys do not have the mistake I did and look around the school for my classes on the registration day so make sure you guys do that you're gonna end up like me and that's not good. drama this happens way too much at my school at least Sixth graders, they just want to get into drama, drama, drama. Mmm, you do not want to get into drama. That's like the worst thing you could get into because if you start drama at my school, you're probably going to end up in a fight. Worst thing ever. So make sure you don't start drama. Like, it's really not important. In seventh and eighth graders. Okay, they won't really care how you look or if you're a sixth grader because honestly, I really don't care. I'm going into eighth grade and I honestly really don't care. It's just not a big deal. So don't think we really mind you if you're a sixth grader. You're just a normal person. There you'll probably hear, oh, you're a sixth grader, but it's not a really big deal. I know swirlies, you into the trash can. That is so unrealistic. Like in the movies, they make it look so dramatic and so like real, and when it's really not, that does not happen at school. You're just going to school and you're learning boring stuff. So, but it's nothing it's too crazy where you're getting shoved in the toilet. Tip ever, make sure you do not bring everything that you bought from Walmart or Target for your school supply. Do not bring everything. Oh my gosh, do not bring everything. Do not be the person who has a backpack that's like sagging to their knees. Do not do that because your back will ache so badly. I did this for my 6th and 7th because I didn't really know. And basically all you need is a notebook and a pencil. That's basically it. Because on the first day, they'll probably just give you like a paper where you have to sign. Or like, that's, that's what they basically do. Friends, on the first day, make sure you reach out to everyone as possible. Um, it's great because you get to find a person who you can sit with at lunch or you can actually find a person who could be your friend for life. Dating. This is the most thing probably you 6th graders would want to do. You just want to be dating, dating, dating since you're in middle school, you're a big kid now. But honestly, you don't really need a date. I never did because I think middle school relationships don't last long because the boys are so immature. I mean, if you're a boy and you're mature, but like most of the boys are really immature and they don't know what relationships are. They just take everything not too seriously so I think don't do middle school dating I think it's just it's just a waste of your time boys are not mature yet so you should probably wait to high school I date I have some friends that date in school and honestly I think relationships in middle school are not worth it and they're not real in my opinion the last one is bullies don't say it didn't happen to you because I'm pretty sure you got bullied once if like come on someone's making fun of you or something just leave it alone it doesn't really matter they're irrelevant they are just a piece of mm, I'm not gonna say it on the end of the road say stuff to bring you down or they're just jealous of you keep them out of your life biggest mistake ever from a bully I let them see that it bothered me and they bothered me even more and it happens a lot since you're in school either if it's elementary middle school or high school it will happen to you I'm not really supportive of violence Sorry, time. Um, I was in the assembly and this bully was behind me and he was bugging me, he kept on tapping on me and he, was, he thought it was funny, it was so mature, but he kept on laughing and, oh, okay, I, I grabbed his phone, he was, I, I turned around, I grabbed his phone and I threw it yes. in the front of the assembly and we were on like the benches thingy so I didn't get in trouble though, so. even though as teacher saw, I didn't get in trouble but I threw his phone and ever since that day he stopped talking to me so stand up for yourself and just know the bullies that you're the boss of 
otherwise, do not bully other people. And if you do bully people, you're just making yourself look more low than you really are. Or friends that say they don't like you or whatever. Honestly, you should just take them out of your life because they really don't matter to you. Like, if they're saying you're pretty when you're with them and then they end up going with another friend and saying that you're really ugly and that's, that's not good. So make sure you just take those people out of your life because in sixth grade, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say I have a lot of friends, but they're like my close friends and most of them are not even my friends today because they're really fake and I didn't notice it before. So in seventh grade, I found my group of friends and I'm really happy with them. So um, just make sure you find people that make you happy and that don't bring you down. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys take these tips and advice that I gave you guys because these are pretty important to me or they kind of brought me through the school year without wanting to kill somebody. So this was the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!